Looking after her remaining property is the only responsibility she has after the demolition of her house last week. Monica Chul has lived on the said piece of land for the past 50 years as documents in her possession indicate that her late husband is the owner of the asset. The 85-year-old widow has been fighting for the said piece of land with her grandchildren who also claim ownership of the same land. However, civic leadership in Mandevu has placed to build a house for the old woman as they claim the mother is still in court. So the time we visited uh, the house together with the leader member of parliament, our MP pledged to uh, build the house, of course, for her. And uh, I was assigned to look for a piece of land of which uh, the piece of land is available. So what I can report at the moment is that we are in the process of coming up with a structure where we are going to shift our grandmother as we are waiting for the court to, to formalize all the processes in the court. Me and the councillor, in the meantime, we are saying, okay, it's rainy. What do we do? Okay? We're trying to help out that lady. I think we've identified land who co well wishes uh, to help us even just build a, 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 a one bedroom house, which will not be hers actually. We'll maintain it with the ownership will be for the community. So that next time, uh, when we have such a similar thing, we are able to move somebody temporarily before their relatives get there. From all the experiences they accumulate over years, the elderly are said to be the great source of knowledge that helps in holding families, societies, and nations firmly, hence the need to cherish their long life and take care of them. Joanne Mwete reporting for Movie TV News in Lusaka.